Hi everyone, welcome to Chef Den's Cooking Tutorials. Here I'm going to show you how to prepare your ingredients, mix your spices and then cook the dish. If you haven't got all your ingredients ready, now is the time to pause the video, get all your ingredients ready and then we can start cooking. But in the meantime, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, now is the time to subscribe and hit the notification button so that you're notified when I post new videos. And hopefully with my uh, experience, uh, you'll be able to cook great Indian cuisine. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Chef Din and today I'm going to cook a Punjabi chicken. So what we will need is a nice medium sized chicken and uh, let me show you uh, how to chop it up first. As you all know by now, my uh, method of cooking is very simple and even to uh, cut a chicken up is very simple as well. So this is uh, roughly about a kilo in weight chicken. Uh, so this will feed uh, probably about four people uh, so uh, I've got a couple of guests coming today, uh, friends of ours, uh, who are going to sample this recipe for the first time. So uh, this is how you chop it up, very quick and very easy. Uh, just basically uh, score the back uh, where the neck is and just pull the neck out. I'm using a chopper, but you know, you can use a knife. Uh, uh, for me, it's very easy to use a chopper as well and a knife so just give it a good chop one chop when you're cutting chicken try not to chop it twice because then you kind of damage the flesh now chopping up a chicken doesn't take that long we're nearly uh, finished now just a couple of pieces left so that this took uh, just a couple of minutes to chop up now what we're going to do is wash the chicken really well leave it in the colander for uh, 10 minutes so all the water drains out then to this we're going to add uh, a teaspoon of turmeric and also uh, about a teaspoon of uh, red Kashmiri chilli powder. This will give it a nice colour as well and uh, just three quarters of a teaspoon of salt goes into here uh, and uh, some garlic and ginger paste. Now you all know how to make this garlic and ginger paste by now. It's 50-50 uh, of garlic and ginger and a little bit of water and a little bit of oil that will stop it going green. As you can see, I'm putting in 125 grams of plain yogurt here. So what we're going to do is give this a really good mix and then once it's all mixed up, we're going to leave this to rest for about an hour, but I'm going to leave it overnight uh, this way it maximizes the flavor of the chicken. So if you have the time, put it in the fridge uh, and marinate for 24 hours at least. The chicken pie is done. Now we're gonna get ready to prepare and make our sauce. So for this, we're gonna need uh, two onions. Uh, I'm gonna cut this really fine so it cooks quicker and melts quicker. But if you have uh, difficulty, uh, use a food processor and just chop the onions. It make life a bit more easier for you. But practice makes perfect. The more you cut onions, the faster and also uh, more accurate you'll be. Cut tomatoes in half. This is two large tomatoes I'm using. Uh, and once we've got this together, we can basically start to make our sauce. So in a large saucepan, add uh, one cup of oil. I'm using uh, cooking olive oil here, but you can use rapeseed or vegetable, any oil you prefer. In this, I'm going to put some peppercorns, uh, some cumin seeds, some bay leaves, cinnamon stick, and some black cardamoms. Now, give this a, a good stir and uh, let it infuse into oil for about 30 seconds or so. This will uh, make the oil uh, full of aroma. Right, once uh, the spices have infused into the oil, now we've put our onions. So give this a good stir. We're gonna soften these onions for a good uh, about 10-15 minutes 
uh, and this way uh, we're helping the cooking process. Put the lid on, uh, get, keep an eye on it, we don't want it to burn at all, so just keep stirring it every uh, 30 seconds to a minute to make sure that it's not burning uh, before you add your tomatoes. If you're cooking one curry, why not cook two? Here I'm cooking a vegetable madras, which you'll find uh, on my channel as well. Uh, this will go lovely with this uh, Punjabi chicken. So uh, check that recipe out as well, because you know if you're cooking one dish, you can cook two or three dish at the same time and uh, have a feast. Right, now we're ready to add our coriander and our tomatoes. Now we'll stew this down for another uh, 10 minutes or so uh, and uh, let the onions and the tomatoes really soften well. After a few minutes now we're going to add our garlic and ginger paste, good heat teaspoon, two, about two to three teaspoons of garlic and ginger paste. So give it a good stir and then put the lid on again and just let it cook very gently on low heat. And like uh, I do on a lot of my recipes, I don't like the skin on the tomatoes. So after a few minutes uh, we can remove the skins. The best way to remove it, if you're going to remove the skins, is just cut the tomato in half instead of cutting in smaller pieces. Then it's just taking uh, the skin off very quickly. Otherwise, like I'm doing here, it's picking it off each single bit. So uh, just cut it in half, the tomato, and put it that in, and then it'd be much easier for you to take the skin off. And then you won't get little bits of skin in your curry. Right, after about 15 uh, minutes or so, uh, this is what it should look like. Uh, it's really uh, softened really well now, and the tomatoes are breaking down as well. And what we're going to do now is basically uh, add uh, some water in this, probably about a cup of water, and uh, give it a good stir, turn it right down, and let it simmer for a good half an hour uh, to 40 minutes or so. Uh, to really break down well. A lot of people put onions in a grinder and kind of grind the onions down before they cook this dish. But I find that the longer you cook the onions, the more flavour it brings to the dish. So I always like to just soften and cook my onions uh, like this uh, to give it maximum flavour. But the choice is yours. This method takes a little bit longer to cook, but at the end of the day, if you've got the time, why not? Right, this is like after uh, 35 minutes it's been uh, cooking. With a potato masher, just to uh, give it a, uh, a rub on top of the onions, which will break them down into a nice sauce. Once this happens, then basically we're ready for the final stage of adding our chicken and cooking the chicken uh, in this sauce. So this is our marinated chicken, what I marinated yesterday. And we put everything in, all the yogurt, lovely marinade as well. And uh, just uh, incorporate everything now. Uh, what we want to do is uh, for the chicken to release its waters as well. So this way uh, it's really cooking in gently. We don't put the heat up too much. It should be just gentle heat and we're gonna just 
try to get all the water released from the chicken before we add our spices. Right, it's been cooking for 10 minutes now and now we're going to add our spices. After another five or six minutes, as you can see, the water has been released and we're ready at the final stage of this dish. And we will add uh, some water, about a cup and a half of water. And this will hopefully uh, be the final stage to this dish. And uh, I hope you try this dish because it's really delicious and it's really enjoyable. What we're going to do is bring it to the boil uh, then put the lid on it and simmer it for 20 minutes and uh, that's it your uh, curry is uh, done and uh, your Punjabi chicken will be a treat uh, to share with your friends this is the final stage of this dish we're going to just break up some meti leaves and sprinkle that over I'm putting in a good uh, teaspoon and a half of meti leaves in this uh, this will really enhance the flavour and that's it, all done. But right, after 20 minutes uh, this curry is done and uh, now we're going to uh, dish it up and serve it to our guests, uh, Tamara and Jose and uh, let's see what uh, they say right tomorrow this is uh, my Punjabi chicken uh, please let me know what you think and if you enjoy it mm -hmm. it's very good. you enjoy it? Mm -hmm. good there you go it's all in the eating and uh, I hope you enjoy cooking this dish and uh, sharing with your friends. So bye for now and thanks for watching.